thinking about it. I'm trying to like come up with what's our purpose, all this stuff. I'm just wondering from your perspective, how do you see the, the brand and the opportunity and what's come from it? Well, clearly, first off, it makes sense. <laughs> and it's like God's work, whatever that means. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, another quote that's in the same vein is by the children's poet, Shel Silverstein. Mm. He's dead as well, so dead. Shout out to Shell. All and right. He said, um, it's called, uh, there are no happy endings. Mm. Or it's called, yeah, it says, there are no happy endings. They are the saddest part. So just give me a happy middle and a very happy start. Yeah, I don't know where Circle Up will take me, but um, I'm having fun. Yep. And I'm learning a lot and I'm building some really fun relationships. Could you take us back to some of the early, cause, cause like we haven't, like you said, we haven't done a show like this. Yeah. Um, in a more free flowing. Yeah. In, in a long time. And one of the things I'm curious about is kind of just, um, some of the influence circle ups had in your life. If it's had any, yeah, because I remember when circle up started it was my self expression leadership project with landmark. And, uh, I was really just trying to rally together our friend group, people that we knew, they're mostly um, millennials, young dudes, 18 to 30 years old. And I wanted to bring them together to a, have a very modern conversation about men's mental health and masculinity and see what that would look like. And just bring them together and then kind of let them create what would happen from that. And I remember um, I was reaching out to the internet. I was saying, hey, y'all, we're going to have this circle up. We're going to get together in Toronto around a fire. And uh, you made a video mm -hmm. and you said, hey, everybody, my friend Jonathan's doing this, this cool thing. Yep. Um, be open-minded to checking it out. It's an important cause to me. And uh, from that, we got Patrick Deloso. Patrick, Patty D. Patrick Deloso to participate. And he joined after a circle up one of um, the teams, Team Mango, and they've been meeting ever since. So over yeah. a year. True. And just like, um, I just really respect and admire your leadership. And for a lot, like for a lot of reasons, like your communication skills, the confidence you instill in other men, the confidence they have in you, knowing that if I put my trust in Gabriel, if I put my, um, you know, if I, if I let Ian lead us, like he's going to lead us to a place of good intention that's going to make life better for everyone. So I'm wondering, what did that experience or what's come from that? If you could talk a little bit about how Star Club's impacted you, like maybe even what it means to you. Like, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just curious from your perspective, because I'm talking about it, I'm thinking about it, I'm trying to like come up with what's our purpose, all this yeah. stuff. I'm just wondering from your perspective, how do you yeah. see the, the brand and the opportunity and what's come from it? Well, clearly, first off, it makes sense. <laughs> and it's like God's work, whatever that means. <laughs> and, uh, and I think, Preach. because I mean, I've done personal development with you for so long. And so I, like, I, I got like, it was, so what I got, I got like kind of the, the doing a daily discipline and meditation and nice. I let that flourish. Wow, that really helped Yeah, us. it was good, man. It was great. Yeah, and then it came back to you too. Nice. So it all circled, yeah, uh, it circled ups back. And, um, but like, and, and at the same time, like I, I, I've done kind of these personal development groups and I've like talked in circles and stuff before. So it was just like really a reaffirmation and like a modern look tailored and niche towards what men need in a more specific way than a more general way, which is part of just being authentic and realizing that there's specific um, uh, challenges that are unique to that, to that situation. And so I got a lot of it, out of it personally, but I think what's, um, what's kind of shocked me and I've been so impressed by is seeing all the people in our friend group that uh, decided to, to do it and then got so much value out of it. Not only got so much value out of it, but we're not just go through it, but like, yeah, that was worth my time but like raving reviews where they're getting a lot of value in, in it and uh, they're recommending it to other people. And not only are they doing it for themselves, but they're inspired to go help the other people in their lives. And I mean, kind of comes back, there's the, you know, the, the bully in high school and the archetypical scenario is the, you know, he's beating up nerds or whatever in lockers and stuff. And he's usually getting, he's usually getting beat up at home. So it's the old adage of hurt people, hurt people. And then, but luckily that's the negative side. So it means that there's a positive side and the positive side is that if hurt people, hurt people, then helped people, help people and healed people, heal people. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing. And you not only get the, I mean, you're alchemizing, turning a negative into a positive, taking a negative experience that you've had 
that you've worked through and had some level of competency of getting out and doing the right things and having that manifest inwardly and outwardly in the world. And then you're giving that gift, giving, holding space for other men to do the same. And then what we're seeing, and which is what I was saying I'm so, like impressed by, not, I wouldn't say surprised because it's not surprising that you, you and the people are doing it, but it's impressive nonetheless, is that uh, like a leader is someone who makes leaders. So you've not just done it on your own, but you've created a space for other men to do it for themselves, but then also get something out of the giving of them doing it. So it's really just, it's like, uh, it's, it's, so, it's such an abundant mindset, not a scarcity mindset, where if you look at the proverbial pie of value, then you're not out here trying to, hey, everybody, this is how you get the biggest piece of the slot, slice, the biggest slice of the pie that you can. You're out here like, how can we make this pie bigger for all of us? Mm. Which is a totally, totally different context. Mm. And it goes back to the Gestalt framework that we've talked so much about around the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. Yeah, can you just re repeat Gestalt framework? And then I got another question for yeah. you around that. So it's called, uh, it's just, a, I think it's a German word called Gestalt, which means the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So it's like, Jonathan does all his cool things, and if I wasn't in the picture, he'd do a bunch of amazing things, and I think I would like to do some cool things too on my own, but then together, we're gonna, it's not one plus one is two, it's one plus one is three or five, or whatever, it's definitely higher than that. Yeah, whatever yeah, it is, it's definitely higher than that. that. I wanna talk about that, because um, one of the concepts that I'm wrapping my head around in writing the Circle Up book is how my happiness and me thriving is actually like an analogy that you like to use, which is like lighting my own candle yeah. and then being able to light other people's candles and ignite their flames through me enjoying myself yeah. and me having a good time and me um, having a positive experience in my life. So there's this concept of like interdependence. Yeah. And uh, Alan Watts talks about this as like the wharf and the whoop. Right, which is like the tapestry has the, the side that you can see that looks beautiful and is organized, but if you flip it around, it looks kind of like chaos and, yeah. and you can't really notice that. But it's like you wouldn't be able to have the, the beautiful side without the chaos side. And it's like every time I improve my life, it's yeah. connected to the people that are yeah. connected to me. And it's what we've talked about before around like feeling envious about each other when you're doing things well. When every time, every fucking time one of us has done well, I'm like, fuck with it. It's like it came back to help the other person, yeah. which then came back to help the other. And then it's just like spiraled into this other, we're drinking wine, we're like in different places. Like it's just, it makes sense.